Even today it is a glorious day. And even it's so You speak words that are in deep. You speak unto your loved one. Lord, we love you. Lord, we exalt you. Jesus, we love you. There's no one else but you. You are one and the one and only. Is you our maker, Lord? Is you our master, Father? The Father of creation. The King of all the universe. You are Lord. You are King. You are Master, Lord. Who is like you in all the universe? We celebrate your presence. We celebrate who you are. We thank you by your word. You are Jesus. The one we give our lives to. The one we surrender our lives to. You deserve all our lives, Lord. You deserve all our praises. You deserve all our achievements. You are the only one. And you are Jesus. Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. And we sing together. Lord, receive us. Receive the everlasting Lord. Lord, receive the weakling. We come at your presence, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody clap unto Jesus. Somebody clap unto Jesus. Celebrate the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. We are so glad to have you this evening. Thank you for coming. Tell your name, but thank you for coming as you take your seat. And as well as welcome the people joining us online. Our online church, we love you. We celebrate you. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's have our precious seats in the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name.
You look so nice in the presence of the Lord. You look so awesome. Join me as we appreciate the man behind speech empowerment. Join me as we celebrate the man behind the speech empowerment altar. You know, it's very easy for God to raise speech empowerment. But he needs a man who will be behind. It's very easy to go to build an ark. But he needs a newer. We thank God for our Papa. In our generation that he has existed. Is two things. I see him in two calibers. First of all, is a solution in our generation. And number two, is a challenge in our generation. Because he challenges many. Doesn't he challenge you? Hallelujah. His commitment to serve the Lord. His passion for the work of the Lord and for the people of God. Papa, we celebrate you. And we love you. Our time is well spent. Let me just give you an insight of what the Lord has put on my heart. In life, life encompasses many things. And there is a kind of life every one of us has desired to live. According to Aristotle, one of the greatest philosophers in the world. He has categorized life in two, three categories. He has talked about life, the life of honor. And he has talked about the life of pleasure. And he has talked about the life of virtue. I don't know about you, but I know there is a kind of life that you desire to live. And there is that kind of life that you are seeking after daily. It can be your dream life. It can be that posh life that you want. It can be that excellent life that you always desire. It can also as well be the luxurious life. But it's upon you. But I've come here to tell you about one kind of life that I've desired. And this life that God has wished for everyone. And this is the Emmanuel life. And my topic is living the Emmanuel life. The word Emmanuel is a Greek word. Emmanuel, uh, which many of us we know and we get the reason when, it, when it's in the Christmas season. And we all know the interpretation of Emmanuel, which means God with us. But it's not only just a concept or a, just a simple word, but it's a whole, it's a whole package of life. That God has wished and desired for every one of us. Many of us we come to look at it only during the Christmas season and the Christmas time. When the Christ our Lord the Messiah was born. But I want to paint you a picture that will bring you to a place of understanding. The Emmanuel life that we are talking about has existed from the very beginning of the Genesis. This is the kind of love that God desired for everyone. And this is the love that God desired for you all humanity. Our scripture is in the book of Matthew chapter 1 and verse 23. Uh, chapter 1 verse 23 uh, uh, people in the media will help us project the scripture <laughs> but it says be old for a virgin be old for a virgin will will bear a child 
and his name will be called Emmanuel. Interpreted meaning God with us. That's, we read it in Matthew chapter 123. But Matthew is not the original author of this statement. As well, we find this statement in Isaiah chapter 7 and verse 14. Actually, it was a big prophecy in those days. That was waited for after 700 years until it came to pass. As we talk about this life of Emmanuel, God with us life. It's a very precious life for everyone to desire and crave for. It's a very wonderful lamb that if you want to step into life, you will not desire any other kind of life. Now let's dig it from the very beginning of Genesis as we come to the issue of the world and existence of that what God did. We all know this, the narrative of Genesis chapter 1 and 3 and, and 4. The Bible says in the beginning God created the universe. And that work took him six days. But what surprises me when it comes to a sixth day. Now they sit in a short meeting, a brief meeting, and say, let's make money our image. And they said he will rule and have dominion over the, that which lives in the sea and that which lives on the land. But look, what is it that pushes God to point where it says, let's create man in our image? It's not that God was lonely that he needed someone. But God created man with one purpose. That man will live, will explore and adventure and live this kind of life Emmanuel life. The life with God. When God created all the other things of the universe, he came to a point and formed the man out of the dust of the universe. He did not create man, but he formed man. Just paint a picture of a, 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 of a summer, a porter, like the way he molds clay. Abumba. Amen. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He, he takes time, he molds, he molds and keeps on molding until he gets the final and definite shape that he wants to At, create. I was marveled when I read this script, couple of scriptures about God and man. When you go back and read Genesis chapter 2 and verse 8, you can stretch it from verse 7 to verse 9. And God creates a man. He puts him and he afterwards he, make, he, get, he makes a garden of Eden. And he puts man there. He grows all the plants. That man will enjoy and have a comfortable life. Whereby God wanted to live closer or next to man. He wanted to walk and move with man. Again, in Eden, some of those who have tried to interpret the word Eden means paradise or the presence of his presence. So Adam lived in Eden. So Adam Eden. In that mysterious life called Emmanuel life. The life with God. When nothing else matters. When all your devotion is upon God. 
Until when the adversary intervened in the life of Emmanuel in the Garden of Eden. You know, this is, this is the kind of life that devil or Lucifer lived in heaven. You know, Lucifer lived in the life of Emmanuel whereby he lived with God. Now he no longer had the privileges of living with God. And they were granted to man. Now man was living with God. Until when the devil came to break down this Emmanuel life. And from that day, man has continued to fall apart away from God. But God did not desire for us to fall apart away from Him. God purpose that we live a Emmanuel life. The life with Him. Now look at this. When Adam sinned and Eve, when they walked out of this garden of Eden Eden, Eden represents this Emmanuel life the life in the presence but now man was chased out of garden of Eden and it continued and continued the same way we look at the descendants of Adam look at Cain whereby he sinned he killed his brother and when you read in the book of Genesis chapter 4 and verse 16, verse 16 the Bible says Bible that Cain killed his, uh, his brother Abel and departed from the presence of the Lord and ran into another land the land of Nod praise the Lord and the land of Nod means a land of wandering. It if we don't live a life of Emmanuel we live a wandering life you are just wandering here and there you have no place of rest and in the land of Nod it's a place where people are forsaken God but it wasn't the God's desire God's desire was that man will live with God we look we see this again in the book of 1 Samuel the Bible narrates the story about Eli the priest and the wife and the two children those who died on the day when the ark of the covenant was taken away if we don't live a Emmanuel life we shall live the Ichabod life whereby the presence and the glory has departed from us. But let it be our prayer that every one of us we shall put our effort together to live this Emmanuel life the God with us. The Ichabod life when the glory has departed, when the presence no more, saw, a, saw King Saul experienced such a kind of life of Ichabod. But David experienced the Emmanuel life. Emmanuel. Haven't you read often times that the Lord was with David and the house of David grew stronger and yet the Lord departed from Saul and the house of Saul grew weaker and weaker. Which kind of life will you choose today? The life of Emmanuel with God where you grow strong and stronger each and every day. All this Ichabod life of soul where every time is losing it, where every time is growing weaker, 
It's my prayer for you that you live the Emmanuel life. Praise the Lord. There are two there are a big difference between religion and salvation. Religion is man's effort coming towards only a God. But salvation is all about God coming out to look out for man. So that's where Emmanuel life gets its full concept. That God moves out a sick man to live with man, to live in harmony with man. Throughout the Bible, we can look at people God tried to bring back into the Emmanuel life. Consider Abraham in the book of Genesis chapter 12. When God and picks on Abraham and tells him, Abraham, this is the life I desire for you. If you can only walk with me, if you can only be with me, here are my promises. This Emmanuel life has got every good promise has got every better promise if you don't try to look into the life of Abraham look at Enoch he walked in this life of Emmanuel. We can still walk in this life of Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me just rush to the end. When we read in the book of uh, Exodus chapter 25, God is telling Moses, Please tell the children of Israel, Build for me a, a tent of or a tent of meeting so that I would dwell among you. It was God's cry. It has been God's desire that you will dwell among us, that you will be with us. And he told them, now build for me the tent of meeting so that I will dwell among you. Will you build God a tent of meeting so that he will dwell in your midst so that he will dwell in our midst from Moses we look it further to Jesus when this is the concept of the incarnation when where God becomes man we read it in the book of John chapter 1 and verse 14. That and flesh and the word became flesh. When Jesus came, even him did not desire to leave man. Jesus, every, most of his time, he lived with men. He has given promises. That I will not leave you nor forsake you. Even until the end of the age. In all that he desired. He wanted to see that this Emmanuel life. Is very applicable to man. That's why in his deity of godness. He decided to leave the heavens. To come and dwell with man. To bring to fulfillment of that God with us Emmanuel. When time came for Jesus to depart. He said, I will not leave you like, as orphans. I will not leave you as widows. Now I'm living with the Holy Spirit. Jesus is still insisting on this. This, this Emmanuel life should continue throughout. Because this is the life we are going to live out for generation to generation. When he left, he left us with the Holy Spirit. Still in that bond of the Emmanuel life. Praise the Lord. Yes. And the Holy Spirit is here with us. 
And right now we believe Jesus sit on the right hand of God the Father. But he says it's not enough. He says I want to see the Emmanuel life. That's why he has promised to come back. Do you know that he's coming back? To be with us. To continue to be with us. And this time is very much surprising that we are going to join him. How many of you believe he's coming back? How many of you believe you are going to be with him for a thousand generations, a thousand for eternity? He's very soon coming back. Are you ready to be with him? Are you ready for this Emmanuel life? This Emmanuel life is for eternity to eternity. Let me read one, one verse as we conclude. Why don't you project for us 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 17? Chapter 4 verse 17. First Thessalonians. As I wind up, he began from Eden. His own one, one divine purpose was that man will live in this Emmanuel life. Not the Ichabod life. Not the soul life. But the Emmanuel life. Where God is with you. Where God is with us. And not only there. Even when man sinned. The Bible says in the cool of that day. God came walking to his usual place of meeting in their life of Emmanuel with Adam. Even though still Adam wanted to hide away, God was like still coming to him. Adam, where are you? You are supposed to live this Emmanuel life. When the children of Israel sinned and went into exile, he told them now build for me the tent of meeting raise for me a tabernacle so that I would dwell among you and it did not stop there. When God saw that his Emmanuel life that he desired for man is not coming to fulfill man. Now Isaiah prophesies that behold a virgin will bear, will bear a, a, a boy. A boy. And, and his name will be Emmanuel which means God with us. And when Jesus came to depart, he said no. This life of Emmanuel is here to stay. I'm living with the Holy Spirit. And not the Holy Spirit alone. But I've only just gone to prepare. He speaks very amazing words in the book of John chapter 17. That where, you, where I am is where you're supposed to be. Child of God, where Christ is is where we are supposed to be. Would you purpose to be there. There is a place, there is a portion, there is a plot for you where Jesus is. Praise the Lord. Let's read this verse and conclude. Father Thessalonians chapter 4. Let's all read together. One, two, three, let's go. Listen to the last one. And so, so shall we ever be with the Lord. I don't know if you will be with Jesus for a few days of days. Days. But what God desires for you is that this life of Emmanuel, you're going to be with him forever and ever. He's coming back for us. He says it's not enough for us to be with He wants this life of Emmanuel to be with you. I have prayed that that life of Emmanuel and you be with it. 
Why don't you stand on your feet? Why don't you stand on your feet? You can for Jesus to give him a That one who wants to be with you. He's not tying himself on you. He wants to be with you. He wants to walk with you. He wants to be with you. Let's add our hands together and we'll come our Father. Amen. Amen. Abira Musosi Ne Munyanja Ajuse Guru Nesi Era Limuze Wanike Mekona Mubanga Musa Wembanga Saba Taiza Kunde Kao Yesu Angali Nange Listen to this Listen to this. The Lord has spoken to us. Can we appreciate God for His word? And in the next few minutes, you are entering into that anointing of Emmanuel. Lift up one and say, Emmanuel. You must say, Emmanuel. Yes, Emmanuel. Lift up your voice and say, Emmanuel. Say five times, Emmanuel. 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 Emmanuel, come on, Emmanuel. I told I want to have Emmanuel. I told I want to have Emmanuel. I Ari nange, ari ramu sosi, ari ramu sosi, ne munya ja, aju se kuna nesi, ari muse, ari muse, we baka saba, chai za kunye kavo yesu ari nange. We want to Jesus like this. I want to hear the kiss. This. We praise you, Lord. 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 Amigos 
Yagara kubera wo Yesu yagara kubera wo Yagara kubera wo Ekanisha yo neyimbe
Tadi rampita Uwuri wapata wangi Tata ngada rampulabi Uwuri wakabaka Isu ngada rampusuni Uwuri wakabaka wangi
Suiza, who get a crowd, you have a friend of Tata, who will be one of Tama, you have a friend of Tata, that from the Wangi, you have a friend of Tata, that from the Wiglania, you have a friend of Tata, that from the Witches, you have a friend of Tata,
This is going to explain your life. It will explain your life. It will, it will explain your potential. It will explain your authority. In the name of Jesus. Some three people at the back. I want to know them again. Some three people at the back. I want to believe that some people again. The Lord is touching you. Can't hold up a comma. Can't hold up a water. Can't hold up a water. He's touching you. I want to hold up a water. Can you bring me that lady? Come on. 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 I speak your reality. It has no authority upon you. The stone that came to the stone. Now they know that you are not the same. You are not the same. Now go. You come and get the money. 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 Now go. You come and get the money.
I feel the voice inside of me, the sacrifice you couldn't pay. It was a we to the Lord has conquered it. The battle the Lord has defeated it already. The battle the Lord has defeated it over. You will not be ashamed. You will not be ashamed. Almost Say, 
I am blessed. I am winning. I am making it. I'm crossing over Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Clap your hands and give it to me. Sit down for two minutes. If you came with your tithe, you can just lift up your hand. They will give you the envelope. Maybe you need it for your seat still. In case you need an envelope to lift up your hands, your one hand, they will give it to you. Yafuke chikolimo Nofa Musoni Yezi tagambika Wafuka Wafuka Sadaka Ea mbunya Pumutima 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 I want you to mark this date on the calendar of your diary and the calendar of your heart. The 28th of this very month, we are going to have a prophetic Passover meal with our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus told us to do this in memories of me. So religiously it is called the Holy Fast Day. But it's a prophetic Passover meal. Mighty, mighty deliverances will happen on that day. Evil covenants will be broken for the new covenant. So after next Thursday, but the other Thursday, make it a 
must for you to be here. But you are not you are alone. But with somebody else. Uh, the testimonies are going to be very, very, very much. So you don't need to miss. On Saturday, we are going to baptize. Uh, the, 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 the evangelist team is just ready, Mr. Kwaga and Mr. They are over there. And I will be personally part of that. Mission. We shall baptize you. And you'll be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. So if you have never been baptized, uh, you register with them. They will tell you the logistics so that you can prepare to be available. On Saturday, it will be the 16th. Somebody say amen. Ah, somebody say amen. By the way, something has happened already. Yeah. Something has already is a year of walking places we have never walked before. Hey, by the way, greetings from Nairobi City. Yeah. 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 You are and today this time someone was waiting right on the plane from the plane to my car thank you for driving me right in the car and I told you every time I'm, I'm traveling I'm, I'm tired of the footing <laughs> they are you are just spending money to go the place. Ah, the time is coming. You come back. Amen. 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 Almost every week somebody is flying. Somebody is flying. What is what, what is going to happen? I want to change the way I want prophetic Passover meal. I am going to shall give you only communion even though you didn't do Mujiji whatever. You are going to do Holy Communion. The Lord is waiting for you. Amen. Amen. Are you ready with your? Yes, sacrifice. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, rise on our feet. Amen. 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 If we would want to give actually, you can use the numbers. Uh, yeah. All those programs, world remit, whatever, send away money, go around. Western Union, Western Union. The Lord will bless you. Amen. 
Listen to say Emmanuel. What? Emmanuel. Uh, uh, Emmanuel. Emmanuel. You are with me. I'm going in that anointing. It is going to happen. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are doing it for me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Feel free to use any of these baskets. In Jesus' mighty name. You have done me well. You have done me well.